off there to the right. Somewhere is a large island. It's rather a mystery. What island is it? The old charts call it Ship Trap Island. A suggestive name, isn't it? Sailors have a curious dread of the place. I don't know why. Some superstition. It will be light enough in Rio. We should make it in a few days. I hope the Jaguar guns have come in from Pudry's. We should have some good hunting up in the Amazon. Great sport hunting. The best sport in the world. For the hunter, not for the Jaguar. Don't talk rot, Whitney. You're a big game hunter, not a philosopher. Who cares how a Jaguar feels? Perhaps the Jaguar does. Bah! They've no understanding. Even so, I rather think they understood one thing. Fear. The fear of pain and the fear of death. Nonsense. This hot weather is making you soft, Whitney. Be a realist. The world is made up of two classes, the hunters and the huntees. Luckily, you and I are hunters. Do you think we've passed that island yet? I can't tell in the dark. I hope so. Why? The place has a reputation. A bad one. Cannibals? Hardly. Even cannibals wouldn't live in such a godforsaken place. But it's gotten into sailor lore somehow. Didn't you notice the crew's nerves seemed a bit jumpy today? They were a bit strange, now you mention it. Even Captain Nielsen. Yes, even that tough-minded old Swede, who'd go up to the devil himself and ask for a light. Those fishy blue eyes held a look I never saw there before. All I could get out of him was, This place has an evil name among seafaring men, sir. Then he said to me very gravely, Don't you feel anything as if the air about us was actually poisonous? Now you mustn't laugh when I tell you this. I did feel something like a sudden chill. <laughs> You'll have a cocktail, Mr. Rangeford? Is there big game on this island? The biggest. Really? We will have some capital hunting, you and I. But what game? I'll tell you. You will be most amused. I know, I think I'm, I may say, in all modesty, that I have done a rare thing. I've invented a new sensation. Hunting was beginning to bore me. No animal had a chance with me anymore. It got boring. I had to invent a new animal to hunt. What's the animal, General? Oh, it supplies me with the most exciting hunting in the world.
I wanted the ideal animal to hunt. And the answer was, of course, it must have courage, cunning, and above all, it must be able to reason. But no animal can reason. My dear fellow, there is one that can. <gasps> you can't mean. And why not? I can't believe you're serious, General Zeroff. This is a grisly joke. Why should I not be serious? I am speaking of hunting. Hunting? Great guns, General Zeroff. What you speak of is murder. <laughs> I refuse to believe that so modern and civilized a young man as you seem to be harbors romantic ideas about the value of human life. Surely your experience in war... Did not make me condone cold-blooded murder. <laughs> I wager you'll forget your notions when you go hunting with me. You, a genuine new thrill in store for you, Mr. Rainsford. Thank you. I'm a hunter, not a murderer. It's a game, you see. I give him a supply of food and an excellent hunting knife. I give him three hours to start. I am to follow armed only with a pistol of the smallest caliber and range. If my quarry eludes me for three whole days, he wins the game. If I find him, he loses. And if they win? Today, I have not lost. I do not wish to think me a braggart, Mr. Rainsford. Many of them afford only the most elementary sort of problem. Occasionally, I strike a tartar. One almost did win. I eventually had to use the dogs. The dogs? This way, please, I'll show you. <coughs> General, I wish to leave this island at once. But my dear fellow, you've only just come. You've had no hunting. I wish to go today. Tonight we will hunt, you and I. No, General, I will not hunt. You'll find this game worth playing. Your brain against mine, your woodcraft against mine, your strength and stamina against mine, outdoor chess. And the stake is not without value, eh? And if I win? I'll cheerfully acknowledge myself defeat if I do not find you by midnight of the third day. My slope will place you on the mainland near a town. Ivan will supply you with hunting clothes, food, and a knife. I suggest, too, that you avoid the big swamp in the southeast corner of the island. We call it Death Swamp. There's quicksand there. Well, I must beg you to excuse me now. I always take a siesta after lunch. You'll hardly have time for a nap, I fear. You'll want to start, no doubt. I shall not follow till dusk. Hunting at night is so much more exciting than by day, don't you think? Au revoir, Mr. Rainsford. Au revoir. You've done well, Rainsford. Your Burmese tiger pit has claimed one of my best dogs. Again, you score. I think, Mr. Rainsford, I'll see what you can do against my whole pack. I'm going home for a rest now. Thank you for the most amusing evening.